guys, Charmaine here. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded a vlog where I actually talk. I hope you're doing great. So basically, I thought it would be fun to create an update of my Fial Raven backpack can can number two. So if you have seen that video, I made a review of the backpack way back when I got it for the first time. And that was in 2017. Yeah, in 2017 when I got this Fial Raven can can number two. So I thought I'd just give an update as to how I've been using it how the whole backpack is holding up so far. Also, I'm on a short trip right now. I'll also just give you a tour of how I use the Fial Raven Can Can number two every time I go on a trip, like what I have inside and what I put in the pockets. So, hope you enjoyed the video. So the two years have been really good to my Fial Raven Can Can. I've used it multiple times you can say it's been well traveled in the two years this backpack has been with me i've only really deep cleaned it for about three times and the rest of the time i just wipe it down with a wet cloth there is obvious fading on the zips but i guess you just expect that especially if like me you use your backpack on an almost regular basis as for the leather details of the backpack, it has worn out into this lovely patina, which I absolutely adore. I initially thought I'd have issues with the backpack straps because I thought they were too flimsy, but so far so good. No issues with the backpack strap or any loose threads at all. As for the metal details of the backpack, you can see that it has obviously worn and changed color over time. But I don't actually mind it simply because I think that the color of the metal as it aged matches the color of the patina in the leather. There are apparent scuff marks all around my backpack and the trimmings everywhere. But this is mainly because I'm not very delicate with how I treat my can, can I think that's mainly because I believe that good quality backpacks should be taken on adventures. So in the front zip pocket, I put things that I need to access really often when I travel and I need to keep them secure and safe. So I have my tiny hand sanitizer right here and I have my charger and my headset. Sometimes I put like spare change right here as well. So I can just easily pull it out. This side of the backpack, I make sure I always have a pen and I choose the push pen so I don't have to deal with losing the caps. This is very handy, especially when you travel overseas, when you have to fill up travel forms in the airport. On the other side pocket, I usually put in my tripod right here if and when I need it. But more often, I keep wet wipes right here. Let me show you what's inside my backpack. So this is my toiletry and makeup kit. Basically, all the essentials are in this cute zip plastic bag. So of course, my handy dandy wallet and my pencil case. So I have tons and tons of pencils and brush pens right here. So of course, I have with me my travel journal. So this is my Midori Traveler's Notebook in brown. My case for my glasses. This one is actually a set of travel inserts. I went shopping yesterday. And important documents and my passports in here as well. So you can actually fit a laptop here, a tiny one, maybe a 14-inch one. 
but it doesn't have much of a padding apart from this one right here. You can actually take it out, but I don't because it helps support the back and keeps the backpack properly standing. So that's pretty much it. So document keeper at the back and I just put in my travel journal, my wallet, toiletries, makeup and essentials right here, my glasses case, my pen case. And I still have a lot of extra space if I want to shove more things in here. I usually put in a jacket or a shawl just so when I want to cozy up on the plane, I still have enough space right here to keep or add stuff in. So it's not that full because I'm not really traveling for a long time. But yeah, that's what's inside my Fial Raven Cancan number two every time I go on trips. Mm -hmm.